Hey there brothers and sisters, Timothy here with The Way of the Rope and in today's episode I'm going to be sharing with you my top three patterns to do with the rope to help you if you're into any hitting or striking or bat and ball sport or a martial art with the hands involved. These are my top three patterns to learn and then drill to help you become more efficient and proficient at what you're doing. First up we've got a pattern I named home run and it's called that because this is great for anyone with an underhand swinging motion like a golf swing, a baseball hit, cricket swing or even an uppercut in boxing. This is a six moves to this pattern but there's one real crucial moment in the home run as you're turning from hips facing one side to facing the other and what the rope does with this pattern is it allows us to practice this changing of the weight from the back foot to the front foot as the weight shifts up and the power shifts through the hips and then into the arms in this underhand uppercut motion and that's really the power of the home run is we get to practice how the lower body connects to the hips which connects to the hands and the sequencing of that. This is one of the best patterns I actually think you could learn with a rope full stop. Next up we've got a pattern called ace and it's called that because it most mimics a tennis serve. Uh, there's three swings of the rope in one complete pattern or cycle for this pattern and the most important of them being as we're coming from behind in this drag and roll action to the front as that backhand drives. Now we can keep the backhand kind of straight or both arms kind of straight and get more of a chest shoulder opening action going on or we can really bend that back arm and really have a precise throwing mechanics uh, practice with this pattern. So lots to explore within one pattern. You can even throw in the underhand sneak at the front and really have it like a baseball pitch coming through where you're winding all, all the weight on that back leg, transfers the weight to the front, body comes around the corner and we've got that, you know, we can drill this pattern 20 times within one minute so you can get a real good throwing action with the whole body from the ground, from the feet in the ground, up through the hips to the upper body, the shoulders, the wrist, we can practice that 20 times with the rope and you, you get a heavier rope, it's more like throwing a heavier ball. Finally, we've got the top spin. Another move that probably relates mostly to tennis, but also something like table tennis or badminton. It's kind of a, a gentle underhand motion. Uh, again, there's three swings to one complete pattern, and the most important moment of this is as the, the backhand, which is going to be the hand that would hold the racket in the sport, swings from the back to the front and kind of undercuts uh, this front hand could be used as a, a more of a gentle uppercut or like a body shot as well in martial arts but what's the beauty of the top spin is you can drill it on your non-dominant side and that will make your dominant side even better as well and you can get tons of reps in a short space of time as well as putting both sides together in one move we call this the, the mini rock it's kind of an underhand matador or we also call this the mini rock in new york i'm mini rock i didn't in my socks and those are my top three patterns for you if you're into any bat and ball sport, tennis, cricket, golf, uh, badminton, baseball, or a martial arts, kickboxing, boxing, MMA. The rope allows you chance to get in tons of repetitions of how the whole body should go through the motion in a short space of time. So you're not just focused on that impact moment when the bat hits the ball, when the knuckles hit the pad or the other, or the other person in sparring. It allows you to focus on what's my foot doing, what's my right foot doing, what's my left foot doing, what are my hips doing, what's my core doing, what's my, what motion should my spine go through and my shoulders in this. As you can acquire hundreds of repetitions in a short space of time, it allows you a chance to think about the techniques going on behind the technique. That's the outcome that you want. You can focus on the other details, which allows you to acquire skills at a much faster rate than someone who's just punching a punching bag over and over again. It allows you to work on the other things and then you can come back and practice that stuff as well. And between the two, you can accelerate. It's accelerated learning with the rope. Um, so that's all for this video. If you want to learn how to do the patterns, we've got courses on wayofthereope.co.uk or grab a rope yourself, watch, copy, monkey, see, monkey, do. You can learn it yourself if you want. Or if you wanted courses, guidance, we offer that, wayofthereope.co.uk, ropes as well. See you next time. Hit car she leave, hit car she leave Fuck example I leave, fuck example I leave Yeah, I'm a legend when I leave